What movie has aged incredibly well? Terminator 2. Most CGI from that era looks like shit. But T2 still looks great. CGI is perfect in T2. Simply ultra realistic, so it doesn't age. The CGI reportedly cost more per minute than Arnold did. That's probably the case for a lot of movies. High quality effects are insanely expensive due to the number of people involved on it. Specialized skills are required, and the render farms used. Office space. To real. Even today. Truth. Documentaries shouldn't be on this list. Predicting documentaries that came true. Idiocracy. Alien. Aside for the shots with the supercomputer. A good bit from the Rift Tracks commentary Bill and Kevin did for this film. Bill, think about this. This movie came out 5 years before Microsoft Windows was released. Kevin, really? How did the ship's computers run? Bill, they ran very well. Deleted. The Truman Show. Good morning. And if I don't see ya. Good afternoon. Good evening. And good night. Jurassic Park. Of course there is some CGI that doesn't totally hold up, but it's dinosaurs in 1993 and the movie as a whole is amazing. The practical effects are one of the reasons it holds up so well. Now, the Unix part. Not so much. Except, oddly enough, the Unix part is legit. The computer is an SGI Irix link. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash Irix workstation, which runs on a Unix kernel variant and was using the fsn file manager link wikipedia org slash wiki slash fsn underscore backslash backslash file underscore manager backslash backslash it looks goofy feels goofy but actually had a strong basis in reality john carpent is the thing apostrophe it's a scandal how far down i had to scroll to get to this cgi technology gets better and current movies become dated as a result but those effects in the thing will always be the most disgusting shit you'll ever see. True. Disgusting and amazing. Saw it for the first time in December. And I really enjoyed it. As much as you can enjoy that. Thing at the end. 12 Angry Men. It's a great movie with superb performances and a mirror on racism in America. But from a legal perspective it does not hold up at all. The jurors break a dozen legal principles and make some wild leaps in logic. That should have been a mistrial. Yeah haha. Like the classic example is juror 8 doing his own investigating outside of court. That is completely forbidden. Don't he they say in the movie that he broke the law? Yeah but I think it's because he purchased a knife. They weren't talking about him doing his own investigating. The SFX in Blade Runner are incredible for its time. I did not like this movie at all. Then I watched it without studio mandated voice either. Holy. Shit. Yeah. For anyone reading this and thinking maybe it's time to check out Blade Runner. Go with the director's final cut. Go with the final cut. Scott's the final cut. 2007. 117 minutes was released by Warner Brothers. Theatrically on October 5th. 2007. This is the only version over which Scott had complete artistic and editorial control. The final cut is the best. Especially with the updated VFX on the shot with the dove. I just wish he left that one line as fucker instead of father. Both are good. And it's nice that we have both. But I like the former so much more. Hoare's delivery is so good. So Apocalypse Now. You have to watch it back to back with Tropic Thunder. The Satan's Alley trailer is perfect. Damn. I forgot about that. That movie had a lot of good cuts in it. Gattaca. We watched this movie in science class in 7th grade. Everyone loved it. After school. I got a call from my one friend with the insane mother. You know the one. And she asked if I thought the movie had been too mature for us. I don't know if her mom complained to the school or not. But I hope to god that it didn't turn into a thing, because that's a very important movie for people to see. Bless those biology teachers who take any excuse to show a great film off. Back to the future. It always comes back. 
to the future. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's from the 1970s, and it's still amazing. Monty Python has a whole programming language named after it. They're the reason unwanted MLs are called spam. But I don't like spam. SSHH. Dear. Don't cause a fuss. I'll have your spam. I love it. I'm having spam 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 beaked beans spam 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 and spam. Tremors is one of those rare, perfect films, absolute best monster movie ever made, great characters, and the effects still look completely convincing. The Kevin Bacon and Fred Ward chemistry in that film as they have a blast playing screwball Hicks is incredible. Who died and made you Einstein? You ever seen anything like this? Everybody knows about M.O.L. We just didn't tell you. Apostrophe. Children of Men. The movie New Tower would be built, so they added it. While filming, it had been announced that London was going to host the Olympics, but the official logo or mascot hadn't been created, so they designed fake ones for the old shirt slash sweater that's in the movie. And they are better than the actual logo. Not a hard thing to do as the real logo was total garbage. It looks like a shitty version of the Discovery Zone logo, but at least they had the excuse of designing the logo in the 90s. Is it the one that looks like Lisa Simpson's blowing someone off? Shawshank Redemption is getting up there. I still think The Shining is creepy f. Slightly newer but getting up there to his band of brothers. Not a movie, but by far the best we I content to date him ho. Band of Brothers is absolutely incredible. Might have to rewatch it again. I'd recommend the Pacific series. It's of similar quality. Goodfellas. No more shines. Billy. What? I said. No more shines. Maybe you didn't hear about it. You've been away a long time. They didn't go up there and tell you. I don't shine shoes anymore. Sometimes you don't sound like you're kidding. Ick now there's a lot of people around here. North by Northwest. Just watched this the other night. Such a great movie. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind just watched it last weekend, and for a 36 years old Danum movie, the visuals are still astounding, and the story is pretty nice too. Studio Ghibli's animation is just always so incredibly rich in detail. Spaceballs. Airplane. Blazing Saddles. Silly comedy will always have an audience. Pretty much anything by Mel Brooks. Dude is a genius. Stand by me. How has nobody said this? What an absolute classic that movie is. I never had any friends later on like the ones I had when I was 12. Jesus. Does anyone. I was just scrolling though looking for this. One of my favorite lines in any movie ever. God if it isn't true. Raiders of the Lost Ark it's timeless. That. And Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Films hash 2 and hash 4. Not so much. Close bracket. You talking mad shit on Temple of Doom. But I respect your confidence. Temple of Doom just gets shit for the heart thing and the fact that Willie Scott is just really annoying. Other than that it's good. She is annoying. Yes. But she literally saves Indy and Shorty three times. The plane would have crashed while they were asleep after the fuel dump if she had not awakened them. They would have been crushed by the spiked wall in the cave passage. And her riling up Indy sexually kept both he and Shorty from being assassinated in their room. Groundhog Day. Lord of the Rings did it. I appreciate all of the upvotes, awards and comments. Thanks. I will watch Lotta with anyone. Anytime. Anywhere. You. Me. Right now. My place. I'm there. I'm coming too. I ordered pizza. Toy Story. Toy Story was made in 95 and still looks better than a lot of the stuff that comes out now. The toys look great. The humans. Shudders. Did you notice all of Anders' friends are just clones of him? Toy Story. Clone Wars. Princess Bride. Muppet Treasure Island. Muppet Christmas Carol 2. It will always be my favorite Christmas movie. The Iron Giant. You choose. The Count of Monte Cristo. Luigi, we shall call him Zaterra. Edmund, sounds fearsome. Luigi, it means driftwood. Apostrophe. 
I'm watching 1995 Jumanji with my kids for the first time in 20 years and it's still a great movie. Airplane is still incredibly hilarious. I still use the end on call me Shirley line whenever I can. I speak jive. Shrek. Came here looking for Shrek. Glad I found it. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.